Okay, so we've got an unboxing video today of the Flares Pro. These are a um, headphone that's made by a small firm in, in Britain, researched and developed and made here. And they even have a fair wage thing on their website. So I think that's pretty cool to start with. Uh, now I have actually already opened this because you know when you get things you make sure everything's going correct in there. Make sure it's working before you pop it open and, and give a look to it. <clears throat> So I'm just going to flip this over and uh, take out the surprising box if you have not seen it yet on the interwebs. Okay. So inside. Wrapping. Alright, I already knew that was in there, so. Warranty card. Serial number. They have quality control on the box. Yep. That's a lot of QC things. All right. About that box. Well, isn't that just about the craziest box you ever saw? So this was uh, done up by a high-end design firm, from what I was told. By uh, the man himself who uh, developed these. Let's open it up. Oh. Okay, so inside we have the headphones. All right, so we're going to do this a tray at a time. So we'll take out that tray. We got the headphones there. Let's get that there. So uh, these things are very fit dependent and they will not sound right if you don't have your tips right. Now, I was instructed to just use the tips that are included with this, but I know some people have had success with other tips. So um, the key thing is to have the perfect seal. You need a, a perfect seal on it. Though there is a, a design to the tips that makes it a bit more um, open. Basically, there's, there's nothing in the way on them, and I'll, I'll show you in a sec on those. Pull it out from the back. Tiny, tiny headphones. So yeah, uh, let's let's see which fingernails. Don't need that. A thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, they're the size of th they're uh, like one third of a thumbnail. That's how big these are, and they're they're actually designed to go deep into your ear. This is a jet in the back. It's designed to cancel out resonance is the idea behind it. So that uh, you're not getting the casing making any alterations or distortion to the sound that the driver is getting. And the driver just fires straight out the front. The back wave is canceled out by the jet at the back. Okay, so it comes with Default cable is a 3.5 millimeter jack one. Now, uh, I, I, when I talked to, to Davies about this, I, I said that um, I would have done something different here. And I, I still stand by that. Um, I would have actually, instead of having MMCX on these, which they take a little bit to unclick, I'm not going to do it and fight with it on camera. But um, there's MMCX at the end of each cable. And, uh, and an unfortunate thing, um, white is right. That just sounds terrible, but that's what it is on the cables. The white one is the right one. So that's how you'll tell the difference between the two cables. Um, but this has two MMCX that connect into here and then a hardwired cable with um, 3.8 five millimeter at the end. What I would have done on this is I would have had a short cable that went into a Y split right here. And it would have been a single cable that plugged in. And then on the other side, I would have had a, another cable coming out. And that other cable could have been terminated as anything. So you have 2.5 millimeter, 3.5 millimeter, you know, um, balanced, unbalanced, and then it'd be universal. 
So you could use a, your balanced amplifier if you needed to to get yourself some more power. These things will take some power. All right, next tray. So this is prettier than when I got it. These had a, a bit of a bit of shaken up, and they were spread out inside. But you can see kind of the principle on how they work. Um, now I don't know if we're going to be able to get close up on these. I, d I don't have a proper lens, but on these they're kind of fluted outwards, and there's some really delicate foam ones, um, like super delicate, like people are breaking them kind of thing. Um, so you got to be really gentle with them or you'll break them. These ones, this right here is actually the silicone, which is all I've used at this point is the silicone ones. There's the really delicate foams there, and there's some standard kind of comply style foamies um, further down, but these these tips were designed specifically for uh, these headphones, and I use the mediums. But um, they're a little bit shorter than your average tip, and the idea behind that is that there's a little bend in your ear. So either you want this to be past it and not overlapping, or you want it to be on the outside of that bend and not overlapping. Because if you've ever worn um, complies, maybe you've noticed that they, they get a little bit of pressure buildup on them. And for me, that's always been a little bit uncomfortable. So this, um, this tip kind of accommodates that by being shorter. I actually found it pretty decent, though they, they still have a little bit of pressure buildup, but it's not the kind of um, pressure buildup where you're having pressure on the bend. It does go past that. And I've just inserted them very deeply, so they've gone straight past that bend. Okay, so there's a little instruction manual, and um, as the front thing said, you, you should read it, because it tells you how to fit the ear tips. Basically, um, how I do it is I just kind of wiggle them around in a circular motion until I get them as deep as I can. And that has worked for me. Now, this is a Bluetooth module. And it has, you know, your standard controls. Turn it on, turn it off with the center. It has um, volume up and down. If you hold it, you can go back and forward on tracks. I tried this with my Opus 3, and actually it was able to control the Opus 3 controls, which is pretty cool. It worked with that. And in here, just you know, your, your standard USB cable. Nothing special there. So, audiophile tips, those are a very delicate foam. Silicone tips right there, um, not a delicate foam. So, I'll probably use those ones more often, just because delicate things in me, I bust. Right, another tray out of the way. Alright, so the last tray in here... Has a carrying case. And inside the carrying case we have our standard foams. I'm just gonna get them out, show you. So just a, a little pack of standard foam in three sizes. And that's everything that's in the case. I've had a bit of listening to, to these, and they do sound very nice. Um, they've got a very natural kind of sound to them. And I'm, I'm looking forward to getting some more time with them, but you know, in the meantime, I've got some, some other reviews that are going to occupy more of my time. Yeah, you may see in the background there, there's uh, some Quest-style gold reference things, so stay tuned for more videos and more information on audioprimate.blog. If you like this information, please hit like, and if you'd like to find out more, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.